Yeah. How you doing? Hello, Mr. Samuel. How are you? I am well. I am well. How old are you? How old are you? Fifty. Five zero? Five zero. Okay. Uh so what's next? Well, um okay, well my thing was where I'm from it, it wasn't a problem with the black guys, it was always the black females that were the problem for me. Mm-hmm. That made it hard for me. Um, the whole the old ex comes back thing. The I didn't want you, but now I want you because you're looking pretty good now. Are you? Do you have and any children? Do you have any children? Uh, I have one. All right. So, what do you want, if anything? I understand that at my age, I have a lot of baggage, and I know no, that. No, 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 fifty. No, you. See how they <clears throat> it never gets straight to the point. He's asking you a question. You already know he's gonna ask you what you want. And it's like that's like the hardest question to answer is what is it that you want when someone asks you? You're fifty years old, you should already know what you want at this point. You come with a lot of baggage at this age, and any man you deal with is gonna come with a lot of baggage. What's the baggage? You got a child how old is your child? What's the baggage? What are, you, what are you concerned about? Your issue was other black women, not the men? She's like hesitant. Your bags is empty just like the last <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't. I'm just saying um, from past relationships. Mm-hmm. And I know anybody that I get with will more than likely have the same as well as does. Mm-hmm. So, so, so the man that... Beg your pardon? So what do you want? I want to be happy. I want the same thing I want. She be... This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem that we have. At our age... Was that her hair or a bonnet? And was that a rum and coke she was drinking? See, you know, anyway, I don't know. Bonnet gang. I shouldn't have had the conversation I just had, but that's that's the the conversation I just had was the reason so many of us Generation X men and women are not together. Because that was the attitude. Intolerable. Simply intolerable. She was into- That attitude was intolerable when she was a teenager. It got, it got women like her a couple of kids, maybe a marriage or something, to, but, it, but it won't last. You can't tolerate that. But the, the goal is hopefully that we have matured to the point to where we reach our 40s and 50s to where we should, we should know what we want. Exactly. We don't have 40, 50 more years. We got to, and if we can't really just definitively say it, how can we find it? Facts. Correct. So when I ask you, what do you want? You want to just be happy. Okay. Yeah. But happy. I want to be the same as I should be for a man. A man needs to feel wanted, valued, appreciated, respected. But does a man make you happy? Does a man make me happy? Hmm? Well, I'm kind of weird that way. Um, I'm my happiest when I'm making him happy. Well, ultimately, happiness, we're responsible for our own happiness. I can understand where she's coming from because some people do get their happiness in helping others or seeing other people happy. Um, Sounds like a good quality for a woman to say something like that, even though she should be, you know, at this point in life, unless she's just lonely, she should be at that point of getting happiness, but then again, it goes back to, and a lot of women will argue about it, about what Kevin said, I guess, whatever that study, that once women reach 45 years old, they're gen- they're generally unhappy. So at this point, 50, you don't know what you want. 
what has life been like? That would be some of the questions I've been asking. What has your life been, consi you know, consisted of at this point? That you still want to be happy, but you want to be with somebody and feeling like being with somebody is going to complete or make you happier by seeing someone else happy. Interesting. At relationships, companionship and company, yes. Happiness, great. Um, but I think one of the things in our generation is we, we learned a lot of Disney stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's still kind of clouding our judgment. Um, your last relationship was how long ago? My last relationship was about almost two years ago. And how long did that one last? About two years. Are you dating right now? Yes. Anybody seriously? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Anyone seriously? Yeah. Okay. So, how long have you guys been seeing one another? Um, we started dating on December the 20th of the last year. Okay. All right. So, what's the next? What's the next step? Well, right now we're still learning each other. Um, Come on, ma. Come on, ma. No. No, I'm being honest. That yeah, fit, that that's some that's some shit that's maybe thirties at at the at the latest. You know, twenties, fifty years old. I mean, I, whoever, however old this guy is. I mean, you're still learning each other to get married. I mean, anybody could kick the bucket. No, I'm not saying that'll be the case, but anybody could kick the bucket. What are we, excuse me, what are we waiting for at this point, man? Sheesh. Oh, man. No, 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 He did ask me to marry him. I mean, come on, I mean, that's, and this is where I thank you. And you live in the same city. You live in the same city? Did she just say he did ask me to marry him? So you're dating a guy. You've been with him for, what is this, 10 months now? Almost 10 months to the day in a few days. He asked you to marry him and you want to be happy and this guy's not making you happy at this point? Wow. Wow. You still trying to entertain some other options? Or are you just not sure about this dude? What's going on? You still learning? He asked you to marry him. I mean, wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect call. You are fear, scarcity, and lack. This woman, you say, I want to be happy. This, that. You're 50 years old. You've been seeing a man for almost a year. And you're going to give me some high school answer that yeah. we're still getting to learn one another. Yeah. You're 50. He asked you to marry him. You're afraid. I said, yeah. But you didn't. You didn't you say I'm seeing someone. You didn't say I have a fiance. She just said, I said, you said yes. What the hell? What is going What's wrong with it? Like this? He asked you to marry him. You said yes, but you still looking. What? Why is it that women like? I think until Kevin starts digging, and this this goes back to the Jen interview because I know she didn't reveal that she was married till later on. I'll link that video in here so you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it. But I think they're just trying to get some information out of Kevin or be on get some more screen time by not revealing the fact that they are engaged or married, just trying to figure something out. What does your, you're not happy, you want to be happy, you're looking for a certain man to make you happy, and you're engaged, late night, on the phone, talking to Kevin Samuels about you trying to find a man to make you happy. Damn. Sheesh. He has to have a husband. Where I said 
said that I would marry him. Ma'am, I asked you if you're single, but you said yes. I want to be happy. You didn't announce that I have a fiance. See, this is a perfect call because so many of our black women, you don't want ownership. You guys resist. Now, I don't think that's rum and coke. I think that's maybe Henny and Coke. Or maybe just some uh, some Jesus Jesus, some E and J that's uh, causing her to forget. I don't know what's going on here. Claim it being claimed. If he's your, is he your fiance or not? The reason I say is he your fiance or not? Yes. Then why don't you, okay, then ma'am, when I ask you if you're seeing anybody, why don't you say I'm engaged? What? I apologize. No, no, don't apologize. Mistake. Don't apologize. No. I'm trying to understand why didn't you? Are you not proud to be his fiance? No, can't be. Are you kidding me? Of course I am. Well, no, I'm not kidding you, ma'am, because the, uh, <laughs> this is a relationship. This is a relationship segment. And when the woman, I say, I want to be happy. I want this and that. What are you looking for? At no point did you say, I'm looking. I found it. I'm a fiance. If the man you're dealing with heard you, you think that he would feel good about what you said? If the, man you're gay, if the man you claim to be your fiance heard that, do you think he'd feel good about what you said? I don't think so. Hell no. Nah. Perfect call. I don't think so, but you're on the phone. What Kevin's the way the way she was talking, it sounded like she's looking for a different man. I'm looking for a different man. I want to be happy. Are you? Would you like to ask Kevin how you can make this man happy? Even uh, you don't know what to do at this point. Uh, you just said it. You just accepted the proposal, just for the hell of it, like because that's not really what you want to do. She sounds like she don't. She don't know what she want. Even at half a hundred, so many of our women are terrified of the constraints and titles of being married. This is the color purpling effect that I call it. The color purpling of our men. 50, you should be, one in four black women will marry and you got somebody to ask you to marry you at 50. Facts. You should be dancing on the tip of the fucking Empire State Building. Mm. Insane. Am I missing something? Dang. I mean, am I missing something? That woman came on here like I'm a single woman still out here in the market. Those last two calls or why men my age don't deal with older women. This is why I don't deal with older women. 30 and under. That's my preference. 30 and under. That's why. One, I got men all over the place, such and so forth. Uh, a hot 304, 40-year-old, 41-year-old with a do-rag and tattoos. You think? I think she should have, because I think she was about to say it why she didn't tell him other than i think other than the fact that she's afraid or she was just trying to get as much information as possible up until this point but good night uh, a man my age should be dealing with that then another woman where a man said hey let's finish our life together and then you on the show talk about i want to be happy and this and that he asked me to marry him and i've had problems with, I'm, just like you came on the show talking about everything else other than, oh my God, I got great news, y'all. I'm 50 and I got it. I'm engaged. Right. It's God's true beat, baby. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth, them.